Hi, welcome to the part 4 of this video series. Here we are covering Azure AI 900 important exam questions. Now please focus on the explanations provided in these videos which is very crucial to pass the exam. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a fundamental exam. So the expectation is just the basics on AI will be covered. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Let's jump to the questions. For questions 1 to 19, please refer parts 1 to 3 of this video series. Now the first option, so in this question, we have to mark yes or no for each of these statements. In the exam, we get a uh, same format. So the first statement says forecasting house prices based on historical data is an example of anomaly detection. Now what is anomaly detection? First we have to understand that. Now suppose you have a sensor and that sensor is constantly sending data. This sensor is installed on a gas pipeline and it is sending data which your systems are capturing. Now the, this set of data points, these are within the range. But if you see this and this, these are outliers. That means it is way beyond this range this high range may suggest that the sensor is getting overloaded or this low range may suggest that the sensor is faulty it is not working as desired now, now that is anomaly detection like so this is a process we use if there are outliers and then we try to focus on those outliers and try to understand what can be the root cause of those outliers now a lot of time that root cause may not be significant or may not require focus now if you see forecasting housing prices is an example where this is not fitting the anomaly detection this is a part of you know we use regression models to forecast the housing prices and these are the parameters or some of the parameters based on which the forecasting can be done for example what sort of amenities are there so a swimming pool a community gated community uh, a private swimming pool your proximity to the uh, public commutation services so as you must have realized this has nothing to do with anomaly de detection and hence the answer is no now the second statement now this looks a uh, good fit for anomaly detection because this is saying you want to look for deviations from the usual patterns which is exactly what I have shown here these th this dot and this dot is a deviation from the usual pattern this dot and this dot and this is what we do as a part of anomaly detection and hence the answer is yes now the third statement says you want to you know understand if the patient will get a disease based on the past medical history and is it a part of anomaly detection so there are several factors which affects or which can be used for identifying if the patient will get diabetes in the future or not in order to predict that there can be you know health checks of pancreas what is the insulin levels uh, what is the metabolism levels what is the resistance levels uh, you know the nerve condition um, those all stuff and what is the age limit is is this person an adult a teenager a kid or uh, a senior citizen no this is not a part of anomaly detection though we are trying to find uh, or predict if this guy or of this person will get a disease and disease is a sort of anomaly in a human being but this is not a technical anomaly detection so these are the three answers let's move to the next question now this is the question 
so what it is looking for is suppose if the ai system is not fed with any value then how should the ai system respond this comes under which guiding principles of microsoft for responsible ai so these are the different guiding principles and which one will fit here if there are unusual or missing values now take the example of a self driven car so what's happening here is this car is taking a turn and you know the self driven cars are usually trying to track the people in front of the car now when there is an angle it's an unusual scenario the question says unusual or missing values so it is an unusual scenario and your ai should still work properly it should not you know if it didn't vision at an angle if it could not view at an angle it might go ahead and the moment the turn happens it might go ahead and strike that person and it can cause accidents and that is not the desire so what you want is it should be reliable reliability and safety this is what we are looking at now take another example you know this car is trying to reverse this is a self driven car from google it's you see this is a self driving car and this guy or this gentleman is just bicycling on a bicycle and he's behind the car is he trying to go so your ai system should be good enough to understand that there is a person near to the car and it should avoid an accident it should be reliable and safe so this is the right answer let's move to the next question now in this question it's saying that you have to build a system which will see a receipt and it will try to extract subtotals and totals so this is how a typical receipt looks and then what the question says is like for example this is your i think total and subtotals so this is what this is your maybe subtotal this is your total and this is what uh, your functionality your ai program should be able to extract this from a receipt so in this case form recognizer is the service we should use now you remember this question we had covered so form recognizer it extracts text key value pairs and table data from a scan documents so your receipt you will scan it and then you can understand and extract subtotals and totals so it will extract certain text for key value pairs or table data then i had shown you this table data and how uh, form recognizer can be used to extract this now ink recognizer this is decommissioned as of january 31st 2021 it got decommissioned now custom vision we usually use on images and text analytics if we have an unstructured data coming in from twitter then we use it to understand sentiments and etc now let's move to the next question now this is the question here it's asking about uh from the azure machine learning designer to deploy a real time inference pipeline as a service uh, you must deploy the model to where see we should always remember that uh, the model deployment is done on aks earlier it was called container instances now there is no container instances we only have aks machine learning compute this is done or a compute is selected and allocated when you try to create a inference cluster it is not done when you try to create a inference pipeline like i explained in the previous module a pipeline is uh, composed of data sets and modules so you create a model build a pipeline and test that so that is a part of your training the model once you train the model you want to deploy it if you want to deploy it you want to remove certain things which you used for training purpose like if you see a car mechanic when he is repairing the car suppose he puts it on a jack and or or a big jack and he takes the car up and he repairs everything etc and then he tests it <coughs> through simulations now once he has done it uh, he wants to uh, give this car to you so that 
you as a customer can use it now when he wants to give it to you he will have to remove those components which he had put from a testing perspective like he will bring the car down he will ensure that the tire nuts are tight and etc and so on similar to that when you have trained your model you have to now make it available to the customers for use or you have to make it available for other azure resources that, uh, for use so what we do is we remove the training modules we add web service inputs and outputs to handle request because now in the cloud world everything is handled through web service so other uh, resources they can use this pipeline through a web service so that's why you have to expose an endpoint so like we saw in previous questions an endpoint exposure is required and so whenever you deploy you have to give two things key and endpoints key and endpoints key and endpoints please remember that this comes in the exam so once you have created an inference pipeline you have to create an inference cluster so you have two choices if there is already an aks cluster you put it you put your model there otherwise you create an aks cluster and when you are creating a cluster it is that time that you will allocate a compute or you will select a compute for that cluster so this is the right answer so let's move to the next question so when you are developing an ai system for self driven cars so which microsoft guiding principle you should remember like we saw in a previous question i gave you an example of a self driven car so we should put reliability and safety here so if you see here uh, like i gave an example of a self driven car so if someone is coming at an angle or someone is just <coughs> at an angle behind your car your ai program should still work reliably and safely it should not dash this uh, cyclist so this is the right answer so with this we come to the end of this video so please subscribe to my channel and like my videos we will see you in the next session